Hey everyone, Chelsea here from So Simple Home. Today's project is near and dear to my heart. Um, this project is making uh, Mario and Luigi caps. Um, why is it so dear to me? Um, our oldest son, who was 12, passed away um, last year, and he absolutely adored Mario and all things Mario Kart, everything Mario. Um, so when he was probably five or six, maybe younger than that, I made him this Mario cap and he absolutely loved it. And it's been a project to share with you for years. And in honor of him, I am sharing this tutorial in hopes that as the new Mario Kart uh, movie comes out, as the Mario Land opens up in California, as people start to um, find their or renew their love for Mario, that this tutorial will come in handy for you and your family. So um, this tutorial includes a, a pattern that you can get down in the description. Um, it is a freebie. You get the pattern to make both the Mario and the Luigi hat. Um, and we're just going to walk you through the steps today. So first off, you're going to need the pattern, like I said. Um, you can grab it down below in the description. Um, it has the pieces for the cap, it has the brim, and then it has a Mario um, logo as well as a Luigi logo that you can use on your hat. So today's tutorial, I am going to focus on Mario, um, but it's the same for Luigi. First, let me get my needle thread here so that we can start sewing in just a sec. Okay. So you're going to need two pieces for the brim, six pieces for the um, cap, and if you want to line it, you'll need six pieces, and then you'll need a piece of white felt for the actual Mario logo. Um, this project is made almost entirely out of felt. My original project I only made in felt. Um, it's not lined. I did use some elastic so that it could fit my son's head just a little bit better. We made a Luigi cap the same way. This project, however, we decided we would line it, um, just kind of give it a better finished look. And so that's what we're doing today. We're gonna line it and we'll show you the steps for that. So first things first is we're gonna do the Mario logo. So I've cut out the circle and I'm actually going to cut out the letter M on my pattern here. You can choose to do it this way, or you can cut the letter M out and then cut it out of your fabric and then iron it on or press it or whatever you wanna do it. But this I found is just a little bit easier. So what we're going to do is cut this M out, trace it onto our white um, logo, and then stitch that right onto the hat. So it's kind of a, um, like inverted applique-ish type thing. Okay, so I have my pattern piece, I have my fabric, and I'm just gonna take a um, water-soluble fabric pin, and I'm going to trace the M onto my material. Now, because this M is the same backwards and forwards, I can do it right side up. The L, you would want to put it on your material backwards. So here's the pattern for the L. You'd want to flip it this way and then trace it. That way, the marking pin is on the wrong side of the fabric, or, or is upside down, if you will, um, because you don't want to see the pin. Even if it's water soluble, it's nice to just have it out of the way. So Mario, the M for Mario is traced on here. Now I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut it out. Just cut out the entire M. So very similar to what I just did on my pattern piece. And like I said, you could cut the M out in your material and then use the M straight on to the fabric, cut it out in red or whatever, however you want to do it. But this is just, I feel like, 
gives me less one less step in sewing. And it actually looks really neat this way. Okay, so there's my M. I'm just going to take one of my felt um, cap pieces and I'm going to put my M about an inch, maybe an inch and a half from the bottom. I want it closer to the bottom because on my cap, I want it lower. Okay, so closer to the bottom here and I'm just going to pin him in place just so he won't move. Make sure he's straight. And then I'm going to stitch around the M on my sewing machine and then I'll stitch the circle. Simple as that. I'm just going to outline it with my sewing machine. So I'll go forward, turn, come up, put my needle down, turn, go down, put my needle down, turn. So basically it's like doing applique. I'm just appliquing this little piece of felt on to my hat. Now if you wanted to do, you could do a zigzag stitch or some other decorative stitch, but I think for this project the straight stitch works great because we're just wanting it to stay on the fabric. It's not necessarily needing extra decorative features. Okay, I'm to the end of my M. I'm going to lift my presser foot and just move to the outside of my circle. Now I'm going to stitch around my circle. And there he is, all stitched on. So if you don't want to sew this, if it seems too time consuming or you don't think you can do it, you could definitely cut it out in vinyl and put it on. You could do it on, um, you could do, press this onto a, like a heat and bond and stick it on, that would be fine. Now, I don't love my circle, it's a little jagged, so I actually am just gonna take my scissors and I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit. So I want my Mario hat to look as authentic as I can get it. And this is a fun project. If you are uh, planning a trip, we've been considering taking a trip to Mario Land after it opens here in the next little bit. Um, in honor of our son and our other kids love Mario their love came from our oldest so I thought it might be fun for all of us to have our own Mario or Luigi hat and my daughter has a Princess Peach crown because she was Princess Peach for Halloween a couple of years ago so you know it's kind of a fun idea all right so there's my M same thing would be for the Luigi you just outline the L and do the circle all right, now we're going to put our cap together. So I'm gonna take two of my felt pieces, put them right sides together, and I'm gonna stitch one of the sides. So I'm coming from the top, quarter of an inch, all the way down. Making um, this the outline. Now I'm gonna do the same thing for these leftover pieces, so two here, two here, but I'm gonna do a chain stitch, so I don't have to cut my threads. I'm just gonna keep sewing. Saves on thread, saves on time. So I've got one, two, three. Now I need to do the same thing with my lining. So I'm just gonna go ahead and continue that chain stitch with my lining. I'm just gonna continue it with these pieces as they're all the same. Okay, so two, two, and two. So we'll start at the top over here, quarter of an inch. All right, I've 
got all of my cap pieces. So my three lining pieces sewn, and then my three cap pieces sewn, all sewn on the same edge. So now I'm going to open up one of my pieces, do the same thing with the other pieces, but right sides together. And then I'm gonna stitch from the top to the bottom on this piece. Okay, just the one side from the kind of that middle seam. those threads then I'm going to open it one more time put this piece in the middle and I'm going to pin it just to make sure it doesn't move and now I'm going to match this seam on this side and this seam on this side okay so that's going to close off our cap and we're just going to go all the way across like it's a rainbow Sometimes it can get kind of stuck right here where the seam is because it's so thick. But you should be able to make it over. going to finish the lining the same way. So we're opening up this piece, maybe, and we're opening up this piece, putting right sides together, stitching from this middle to the bottom. Same way we did the other one. same thing with our last two pieces. Find that middle, pin it in place, and then sew the rainbow right from this edge to this edge over here. All right, there's our lining, lining, cap. All right, before we move on to the next step, or to put these two together, we're gonna do the brim of the hat. Okay, so there's two of these pieces, both cut out and felt. We are gonna stitch around the rounded edge, okay? And you're going to do it at a quarter of an inch, back stitching at the beginning and the end, Make sure they line up good. All right. Now I'm just gonna take my scissors and I'm actually gonna trim around just to get rid of a little bit of that bulk because it is uh, felt and it is bulky. Then I'm just gonna turn this inside out 
or right side out, I guess I should say. And then you can take an iron, as long as it's not too hot, and press the brim. Don't allow it to get too hot or else it will start melting. But there's your brim. Okay, so now our brim is going to get put on our main Mario cap. Now this cap has six sections. Um, if for whatever reason you feel like that's just too big for your kid's head, like I said, I had to put elastic in mine. I'll show you how to do that, but you could also just do five um, sections if they have a smaller head and that would take care of some of that problem. But I just like the look, the way that the six pieces come together. I feel like that's more authentic to what Mario's hat looks like. So that's why we have the six. That's just kind of a side note. All right, so what I'm gonna do with this brim is I'm going to fold it in half and find the middle. And then I'm gonna find the middle of where my M is. And I'm gonna put the long edge along the raw edge of the cap. That way, the seam is on the inside. Just like this. So you're seeing how it's kind of going with the curve of the hat. Now I'm just gonna stitch this in place, quarter of an inch, brim to the cap. My brim is now attached. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this. See these little pieces, this little like triangle piece on either side for the brim. I'm just going to trim those off because they're in the way. They don't need to be there. Now at this point, if you wanted to, that you could be done. You could say, yep, there's my Mario cap. I'm done. Like I said, that's kind of what we did with this initial cap that my son had. You can see it's had a lot of love. That's just fine if you wanna do that. It's probably still gonna be a little bit big. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is take a piece of elastic, at least a four inch piece, and you're gonna to wanna to put it on one side and stitch it and stretch it to the other side here. And that's going to make the cap smaller, but it's also gonna keep the nice shape of the cap, okay? So that's the same thing you'll do with the lining. If you feel like you need to add some elastic, that's great too. So if you wanna do the lining, hold on, I gotta think here, <laughs> sorry. I don't wanna turn this one. So with the lining, we're going to place it over the hat. So we're putting the hat basically inside our lining here. And we're gonna match up our um, seams. So our seams for our lining should match up with the seams of our hat. So you might have to stretch things a little bit. Now the brim of the hat needs to go on the inside like this. And then again, you just match this seam with this seam. Even though there's a brim in between, it still works. And last one right here. Okay, so you kind of see how that looks, like a bowl. Now, this is the front, we know that, so this is the back. So I'm actually going to mark the back, two pins on either side, so I know that this is where I'm gonna start sewing, this is where I'm gonna finish, and I'm gonna leave this back piece open. That way I can turn the whole the hat inside out. So I'm gonna put it under my machine, again, just a quarter of an inch seam allowance, back stitch, and then follow that edge. When you get to the brim, Again, might be just a little thick, that's okay.
machine should be able to go through. Just make sure that your hat and your lining are matching up. To the end of my two pins. Now I can pull my hat out. All right, so that's kind of how it looks. Here's the opening. So I'm going to reach in and pull my lining through my opening here. Everything right side out. Push that lining in. I'm just going to finger press all the way around so that my lining and my fabric I think kind of fits. Okay, so that's kind of what it looks like. So now I need to close up my lining. But I am going to also add my little piece of elastic, which has disappeared. Where did I do? Oh, here it is. So to close this up, so there's my opening. So I'm actually going to pin my little piece of elastic right here. And then I know that I want it to end about right here. Okay, so it's four inches and I want it to stretch eight to 10 inches. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep it right on the edge here of my hat, but I'm gonna stitch it down. And then as I go across to close off my hat, I'm just going to keep pulling that elastic. Again, this is an optional piece, but I just find it just makes it just enough so that the cap fits a little bit more snugly. Now, could you put the elastic on the inside for sure? But this just kind of is an easy way to kind of um, shrink that hat slightly. So you can kind of see on the back, see how that gets gathered up a bit. So if you need it extra, like your kid has a really tiny head, um, or they just keep saying the hat keeps falling off or whatever, you could definitely um, shorten that elastic to just three inches or two inches and stretch it even farther if you need. But there you go. There is your Mario hat. And here is the Luigi hat. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope that your little ones or your big ones or you yourself, if you love Mario, will enjoy this. And I hope that um, this pattern finds a lot of love and um, make sure you check out the link in the description so that you can get the pattern. Um, and don't forget to follow us here on YouTube or check out our blog at so simplehome.com. We'll see you next time.